homecoming at Cameron Stadium. The Presidents played host to Carnegie Mellon. But this one would not end in regulation and would require two overtime periods to decide the winner. W and J opened up a 14 to three lead after scoring on its first two possessions. Passes to Zubik of 14 and 29 yards. back with the next 18 points to go up 21 to 14 midway through the second quarter. Kemp hauled in his first career reception, a seven yard score to tie the game at 21. But a score by the Tartans late in the quarter, with 13 seconds left, gave them the 28 to 21 lead going into intermission. Carnegie Mellon opened with the scoring of the second half at three minutes, seven seconds of the third quarter, before Toy snagged his first career touchdown with 31 seconds left in the period, from 15 yards out. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, a CMU touchdown at 10 minutes 37 seconds put the Tartans ahead by a 42 to 28 margin and calmed the homecoming crowd. On their ensuing possession, the Presidents marched 50 yards in five plays to cut the deficit in half, 42 to 35, with a 16 yard strike from Coughlin to Braden Toy, his second touchdown reception of the game and his career. After exchanging punts, W and J found Pader. When Zubik hauled in his third score of the day, 30 yards out from Coglin, knotting the game at 42-42, with four minutes 25 seconds remaining in regulation. CMU marched on the ensuing possession, but was forced to punt. As time ran out, the Presidents took a knee to send the game to overtime. W and J got the ball to open the overtime period, and it took four plays for the Presidents to score and take the lead. A five-yard scamper by Coglin, making the score 49 to 42. <laughs> Carnegie Mellon needed just two plays to tie the game and force a second overtime. 
In the second overtime period, CMU was on offense first and eventually kicked the 20-yard field goal. On W&J's possession, Coughlin ran for 14 yards on second down and eventually capped the drive and the game when he hit Zubik on an eight-yard fade route in the back corner of the end zone, giving the Presidents the thrilling victory, 55-52. to 52. W&J improved into 4-1 and one on the year and 2-1 and one in the conference. The Presidents will remain home the next weekend against Bethany at Cameron Stadium. 56, 55, 54, 53, 54.